What's going on world? Season four of Sneak Peek is officially underway. I'm your host, George Kill, and today we begin our season of first highlighting pioneers of some sort in relation to Sneak Peek. Today, the spotlight is on X Game medalist Paul Rodriguez, the first professional skateboarder featured in our Sneak Peek series. Check out his array of signatures, SBs, and his newly furnished skateboard setup. All right, Night Skits fan, we're out in LA again, this time with professional skater, X Game medalist, Paul Rodriguez. How you doing, man? Fantastic. Hey, Welcome so to the know. Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know I really wanted to start season four off with you because, you know, you started with SB in 2004. Yeah. And this is your 10 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. Man, it goes by like that. Right. I can't even believe it. 10 years. Yeah, which also <laughs> means I know you have some crazy stuff to show us in there. You know, I got a couple things, you know, I don't got the, the most extensive sneaker collection, but I got a couple gems in there. Yeah, yeah well, let's check uh -huh. it out. Come on in. Pardon the, uh, the house is going under a little facelift right now, so it's a little messy in places. This just went up like a couple weeks ago. But these are pretty much the shoes that are just on the daily rotation. You're just running out the house, like, okay, just grab these, put them on, whatever. Exercise shoes, basketball shoes, whatever. But the house was just getting so cluttered with shoes everywhere, everywhere. So like, my girl, her and her aunt designed these like shelves to like kind of make it like an organized mess, you know? Talk about your setup, because we've never seen a setup on skateboards before. Yeah. We usually see it on shelves and uh -huh. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really take credit for it. You know, my girl just, she had the idea. I mean, I got skateboards all over the place throughout the house and uh, her and her aunt just devised this beautiful idea. So I can't really take credit because before it was just on like just Ikea shoe racks that were just placed here and then they were just literally this whole room was just scattered just a mess and it's like right when you walk in the house first thing you see is a mess so um that's kind of how that is but like you'll notice like some of the boards here have been some of my like graphics from some of the companies I've written for some of them are just blank so like we said earlier 2004 uh -huh. been there for 10 years yeah Show me some shoes within those 10 years yeah. that are meaningful to you. Yeah, oh, come on this way. I got, I got those ones in the garage, kind of like my archives. Here is kind of where they kind of been organized. Another organized mess. But right here, they're pretty much in order from beginning to end. Like these ones, when I first got on Nike SB before my actual pro model shoe came out, this is the first like collab shoe I did with Nike, the Delta Force. I had this little crew called SHS, myself and a few other skaters. So I just had a little skate crew, integrated that into the, to the tab right there. You know, just a couple little hints of what life was like at that time. It's funny you men mentioned that SHS because uh, the Barracks host, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. he said he had a pair of those, but he wants to know what SHS means. Ah, uh, he told you to ask that, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's one of those, like, if I tell you, I gotta kill you. One of those things. Uh, no, nah, it's just top secret. I mean, just, it, it's really nothing that crazy, but just the four of us who were there the day it was conceived were like, it's a pact. We shall never tell anyone what this means. It's only for us. And the only uh, four out there will be myself, our current Nike team manager, Scuba Steve, um, another pro skater friend of mine, uh, Spanky, and my friend Dan Abadi, he actually, he lives here with me. Moving on, I got my ones. And here at the house, I don't have the first colorway, just the all white leather with the black swoosh. Um, I got those like in storage, actual storage. It was out for two years before my second shoe came out. So this came out, I think the second year that this shoe was out, this colorway. Um, so this shoe means a great deal to me, of course, this is my, first signature shoe as a pro skateboarder, and let alone it's on Nike. It's the first signature shoe for skateboarding that Nike ever did. That's a huge, huge blessing. Uh, moving on to these, these are like a super special. This is one of a kind right here, but they made a, a limited run of a similar version of these. Uh, these are my, my second shoe, high top version. Uh, here's the low top version they made. The elephant print, this one was just like a, a regular release. But this one, you know, I'm Mexican, and this is like kind of going back from my Mexican heritage. They went to Mexico and they actually met with this like famous dude down there who makes, hand makes uh, cowboy boots and stuff like that with just his hands, the leather. He like, I guess he like made, makes it for like all the cartels and just 
anybody down there, you know, anybody with money. They got him to like custom make it, like he stitched in my face right there in the back. And if you look in it, it's different trades, like, you know, different things. You got the, you got the roosters, you got different animals. I don't know if it's a parrot or whatnot, but then even like more things like you got like poppy plants that represents like, you know, the cocaine trade out there. Just like different things that represent what was going on out there, you know what I mean? I mean, not that I'm in any way connected with that. This one right here, you know, was kind of more of a limited release. You know, we got the basket weave. This one was actually one of my favorites. Sinker Hatfield actually uh, did this one. Here we got like the vulcanized version of my second shoe. This is a colorway that actually never came out, unreleased sample. Um, but I love this shoe, man. They put a Volk sole on it and just slimmed it down. You know, this one was a little bit more of the, the bulky version, some more slimmed down version. These ones right here were, uh, were specially made for this skate shop, I believe, called Active. And it's crazy colors, wacky colors, but these were super limited, only sold in Active. This is a, a version of my uh, my second shoe also with like more of like a running sole. And these were designed by James Arizumi who uh, I worked with on my fourth shoe. So shout out to James, congratulations. He just recently moved over to Nike Golf. So he's gonna be helping with them. And this one is my third shoe, P-Rod 3. This came out in 09. One of my favorite things I ever did with Nike we did a commercial today was a good day with ice cube and uh this was the shoe that that commercial was about so like for me this is huge and i actually somewhere have the actual shoe that i wore in the commercial oh this is the actual one yes yeah, so this is the one like kobe it made an appearance in ice cube for me this is the first time like i was like man i feel like a, i feel like a star and if you if you look closely they like spray painted or painted this bottom panel because the sample, these samples weren't finished samples yet. So then the go to market samples had the black right here. So they had to paint them and make it the right way. That was a, a, a crazy time for me. Like I, I was like, I couldn't believe what was going on in my life. What year was more important to you? That year when you shot that or 04 when you got the deal and you became an X game medalist? Man, that's a tough one to say. Um, I guess I can't really compare them like one over the other. I mean, they were, you know, very special moments to me and I'm very fortunate to have moments like that in my life. You know, without the initial signing with Nike, that would have never came about. So of course, you know, that, that probably was like the pinnacle moment, but man, unless you knew skateboarding, I was relatively unknown to anybody outside of skateboarding at the time. And for Ice Cube and Kobe, who I'd got to meet once before through Nike, um, to agree to be in my commercial, just some, as far as they were concerned, random skateboarder, they had no clue who it was. I was just like, oh my gosh, it was insane. Cube was stoked on like the concept, the whole today was a good day. You know, how the parallels kind of, from that song kind of related to skateboarders in a weird way. I can't even thank Nike and Ice Cube and Kobe enough for that moment, for, for giving me that moment. These were actually the first samples I skated of the third shoe, another, uh, version that didn't come out. This is when they like introduced the butterfly pattern. It has the monogram, the PR3 in there. Fours came out in 2010. I get confused because they have us design the shoe a whole year ahead. So by the time one shoe's out, I'm already working on the next shoe. We decided to take a whole different route. I wanted a much more toned down shoe, simpler shoe. Again, following the Today Was A Good Day commercial, I got blessed with another amazing commercial for this shoe. One of my heroes since real young. Mr. Nasty Nas graced us with uh, making an appearance and, and using his amazing raspy voice for the uh, for the commercial. So thank you so much, Nas. You'll never know how much that means to me. So after the four came out, we started uh, doing the shoe every year. So five, six, and seven all came out back to back to back. So here's my fifth shoe. This one probably I mean, it's hard to say because every time I, I start liking my shoes better, at least that's the goal you want to design one you like better every time. But man, this shoe I love. Uh, and then over here we got some sixes. These ones are an old skated up version of them. Not, no significance to these particular ones. 
uh, other than they were just skated. But here's another version of them skated up. On to the seven. I have a bunch of sevens in the house, but these sevens right here were the very first samples I ever got of it. The very first time I laid my eyes on it. And I gotta admit, the time that I got them, I was like unsure about them. Like if you look at the heel, it's like super skinny. Since then they've widened it out. You know, you don't want to be all unstable on your board and whatnot. I'm not going to ask you what's your favorite because, I mean, I'm probably sure you're going to say, like, the seven right. because of the evolution. But what was the most skate-friendly shoe out of all seven? Man, that's that's tough to say. And, and, and it also depends who you ask. You know, if you ask me, I'm more of a type who likes a cup sole with more cushion, more protection because, you know, I like jumping down stairs and big gaps and, you know, your feet take a lot of... A lot of impact, so I like, I like that. But I love, I love these ones. These ones skated real good. But for me, I didn't like jumping down big stairs on them because they're a bit thinner in the sole. But just for technical skating, board control, just good flat ground session. I love the uh, these number twos with the Volks. This box here is just a box of various uh, of my first and second shoe, various ones. Like these are like super um, exclusive ones that were designed by the. Uh, New York uh, artist Stash. Shout out to Stash. You know, just various colorways that all came out of the second shoe, the first shoe. The high tubber, I don't think these ever came out, the two. Still brand new with the, the laces on them. Maybe one day I'll bring them out. And this is probably one of my favorite colors of my first shoe. Little Stash, little three, four, and five. These ones right here mean a whole lot to me because with each of these, I've won a different contest that meant a lot to me. Like these ones, I won Street League last year, Arizona Street League, first place, and that was my first time I ever won a Street League, and I wanted one so bad, and finally got it in these. These ones were I won last year's X Games, and these were the ones, the Cinco de Mayo dunks, I won my first X Games in, in 04. These ones were the ones I won my second X Games, 05, the next year I won it again, uh, thankfully, and uh, these are the ones I was wearing, the, the Jordans, this is my first Jordan collab shoe. Got the elephant print, the different like features that come on different Jordans. These ones, I won the first ever Maloof Money Cup in 2008. More of the fours, fives, threes, different colors. This is one of my favorite colors. So my fifth shoe right here is like my vulcanized box of shoes, my Volk rods. These shoes were a separate shoe. These weren't labeled a number, so technically I've had eight shoes out already because this was its own separate shoe. But these ones right here are the Eric Costin ones. And the significance of these is Eric Costin, as far as skateboarding goes, that's my hero. I would study him all the time. Remember the first time I got to meet him, I was too shy, I didn't even walk up to him. Just kids were around him asking for an autograph. I just walked up. I didn't say where, I just put my backpack towards him like that and he just signed it and I walked away and just, I can't tell you how many times I've told him that story, like so psyched to tell him now that we know each other and our kids play together and it's it's crazy how life turns out. Aside from these ones, I got, I got a couple that are in the house that I probably won't ever even wear. Back in the air conditioning, plenty of the, uh, you know, highly sought after dunks that people, uh, Chop an arm off for plus heads because my man, uh, Steezus Christ, he's also like my sneaker uh, consultant. Some more, yeah, 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 man. Some specials right here. I don't even remember what these are called, but I've had these for a good five years, something like that. Oh, the Brooklyn Projects. Shout out to my boys at Brooklyn Projects. Yeah, clear never even touched the ground. Do like Fat Joe and lick the lick the bottom right there. Took my sixth shoe and put it on a lunar running sole. The tennis ball color right there. You gotta have the Yeezys, of course. They're just so special to have, man. It's just such an amazing design. Yeezy, if you're watching, amazing shoes. But the Yeezys are only second to, in my book, for me, my personal stash, only second to these ones because these ones were personally made for Michael Jordan, size 13s. Um, they were personally made for him. They're my signature shoe, the Volk Rod, personally made for Jordan. They gave him a few pairs and then they had him sign them to me to 
shoe P. Rod, nice shoes, Michael Jordan. Like to me, that's like, how does that even happen? So many reasons why this shoe, if I tried it, could bring a tear to my eye. And when I first got them, it did bring a tear to my eye. And so that's my crescendo right there.